Hello and welcome to Sharon Local History. We are talking about Sharon, Massachusetts and in this video I will introduce you to some of the more famous postcards that came from Sharon. Most of them are from early 1900s, so this is the skyline of Sharon. This photo postcard was mailed in 1906 and it shows the water department's 1896 pumping station and the railroad crossing at the bottom of Depot Street. In the distance, you can see steeples of the three historical churches in Post Office Square, as well as the standpipe. This is our Post Office Square, or the center of Sharon. This is how it looks like in early 1900s. To the left is the brick Dennett block, built in 1903. In the middle is C.F. Bryant. And to the right is the general store owned by Petis and Colburn. The general store, built in the late 1800s, after the original store was moved to 32 Station Street, was destroyed by fire on December 11, 1966. The square has not been the same since. This postcard of Post Office Square is from 1948 and it shows angled parking. By the way, the traffic lights were not installed until 1987. The drivers had to keep to the right. This is a postcard of the Unitarian Church on July 2nd, 1740, after a small group of settlers was granted permission to be set off as a town of precinct, the first meeting house in the first parish of the second precinct of Stoughton was built. Shown here is the present-day Unitarian Church built in 1842, the third structure on the site. Next are a few postcards of the Sharon Public Library, which was constructed with the funds given by Mr. Andrew Carnegie, oh, and opened in 1914. The plays for this um, building were widely distributed to other towns in Massachusetts through the Division of Public Libraries and were also included in the 1929 edition of the Encyclopedia Britannica in the Library Architecture section. The library is one of several buildings in the Sharon's Historic District number one. These are lovely pictures of the original Sharon Town Hall. It was on the corner of South Main Street and East Chestnut and it was constructed in 1883. After paying $300 for the land and borrowing not more than $10,000 to erect the building, it served the town for 82 years. This is the old Sharon High School, better known as Wilbur School Apartments now. The first section, the left side of the old Sharon High School, opened in 1920 as a grammar school known as Charles R. Wilbur School. In 1929, a new Sharon High School that included an auditorium and a gymnasium was added to the Wilbur School. Um, the last class to graduate from this high school was in 1957. The school then became Sharon Junior High and later became known as the Wilbur Intermediate School. It remained open until 1981. Today it serves as Wilbur School Apartments. Sharon was advertised as a resort town from the late 1800s to about 1940s. Um, this was Lawn Crest um, and it was located on 20 Pleasant Street and was one of the most popular places because of its proximity to the center of town as well as the train station. This is photograph of the old center school that was erected in 1710 on North Main Street opposite Brook Road and um, then it was actually moved to the first congregational church right next to the church it remained there until late 1800s and then it became part of House on 50 Quincy Street. This is a postcard of the Stoneholm property, which was constructed with Sharon granite from nearby Mills Quarry, and it is one of two Sharon homes listed on the National Register of Historic Places. It is located at the corner of Ames and East Streets. It was originally a luxurious home of manufacturer H.A. Lothrop, built circa 1848. This is a postcard of the Cobbs Tavern that was built in 1740. It is on 41 Bay Road. It was a stopping place on the Bay to Bay Road. 
in the days of stagecoaches traveling from Boston Bay to Narragansett Bay in the Rhode Island. Here one could obtain food, drink and a place to sleep. From 1819 to 1895 it hosts the East Sharon Post Office. Jonathan Cobb had been the proprietor of the tavern and it is private residence now. The tavern is um, in its own historic district, history, the historic district 2, and is one of those Sharon homes listed on the National Register of Historic Places. This house on 300 East Street is known as the Deborah Sampson House, but it was actually her son's house, Earl Bradford Gannett. He was the son of Benjamin Jr. and Deborah Sampson Gannett. This is a photograph of Men's Mill, which manufactured cotton cell duck. After fire destroyed the first building in 1831, a second building was built around 1840 at the edge of Men's Pond, where the fifth, fifth privilege on Massapoak Brook was located. Unfortunately, in 1919, the second building was also destroyed by fire and was never rebuilt. Here are a few postcards of our train station. Um, the second one is the Comet, the silver streamlined fast speed train with its plush orange cushion seats was called the Comet. It began operating between Boston and Providence on the main line of the New York, New Haven and Hartford Railroad in the mid-1930s and continued through 1940s. The train is shown at the old Sharon station, which was on the southbound side of the railroad tracks. This is the present-day Sharon Railroad Station that was built of the red brick and opened around 1936. At the time, new overpass was also built. This station was often referred to as the most attractive railroad station on the main line. This is a postcard of the Soldiers Monument that sits at the top of a knoll in the Rock Ridge Cemetery on East Street. It was given by cobbler George Washington Gay and his wife Eunice as a memorial to Sharon's Civil, civil War dead and to Mr. Gay's grandmother Deborah Sampson Gannett. The memorial was erected by the town and dedicated at a special ceremony in 1908. This postcard shows the second Massachusetts Audubon Society's Moose Hill Bird Sanctuary at Moose Hill Street. Um, this sanctuary opened in 1922. A third and larger facility is now located on Moose Hill Parkway. And here are a few postcards of the Sharon Sanatorium or Sanitorium for pulmonary diseases, which opened in 1891 at 21 Everett Street, which is off Upland Road, because Sharon was known as a healthy town with curative qualities of air. People came from great distances to live here and to hopefully overcome tuberculosis. The Sun, that was abbreviation, closed in 1947. And last but not least, there are a few postcards of our lake. Lake Massapoque, meaning Great Pond, is located in the plain area of Sharon, lying between Moose Hill and Rattlesnake Hill. It covers an area of nearly 400 acres, with the driving distance around it being about 5 miles. Several summer camps surround the lake. Swimming, fishing, sailing, motorboating, ice skating and ice fishing are popular at various times through the year. Thank you for watching Sharon Local History. I hope you enjoy these postcards.